right, a quick video with my coffee this morning. Now I am still letting the beard grow. And let me just say, thanks for all the comments telling me to do what is good for me, giving me input on what you'd like to see. I really appreciate all the comments. And I'm still trying to figure it out, but I do need to shave because I do go into the office every day. So I wanna be presentable while I'm trying to figure it out, guys. So today, I'm going to be doing a neck cleanup, and I'm going to be highlighting a couple of new products. I've been looking at this for a long time, Zangari Man. This brand is cool. I don't know what it is. It's crafted by hand, just has a nice ring to it. Here's their Explorer, which has a nice citrus woods and vinegar smell. Oh, it's kind of a light an airy citrusy smell to it guys nice new soap for me and they have a companion recovery splash so an aftershave with the same citrus woods vetiver essence of course i'm gonna open this guy up and get into the shave i'm also going to be showing you the difference between two power cartridge razors that's right, a lot of you have been asking, when's my next cartridge review? I'm going to give you a look at both. I've done reviews of these separately, but I'm going to pit them head to head. You know the drill. One side, I'll use the Gillette Fusion Power. And the other side, I'll use the Dorco Power 6 Blade. All right. Of course, I will be using my favorite brush, the Pacific Shaving Company's Natural Cork Handle Brush. You've got sustainability in mind, but it's also a very light brush, all right? Soft on the hand, but it has a hard core, and it has the best synthetic knot in the business. They're still available, guys. Get them while you can. It's going to be a collector's item, and I love it. And nice, nice uh, narrow diameter knot, too, because I'm just going to be dealing with under here. So this is a non-traditional shave for me, guys. Usually I would shave after I get in the shower, but I just woke up and had my coffee from Abe's Grill in Corinth, Mississippi. The best biscuits in the South. Abe's Grill, shout out. Mm. And I'm just gonna get right into it. I just need a short cleanup. So I'm gonna... Just gonna splash a little near hot water. Because I'm looking for brevity on this shave. I'm looking for a little brevity, guys. And then I'll jump into the shower after. I'm just doing a nice cleanup. No need to rush, no need to uh, get a whole big steam going. The beautiful thing about a synthetic knot is you don't have to wet soak it. Just run that in to, under a little warm water. Pull the tin up, right? And we'll swirl right into that tin. I like to do oh, about 15 seconds of swirling. I can see right off the bat I didn't I didn't have enough water on the brush. And we'll work that. We'll we'll attend to that when we get to lathering on the face. Maybe I'll put a little, little bit more water on the brush here. All right, and I'll just go right to the neck. Swirl that in. We don't need a lot here today, guys. This is gonna be a short video. This is a run and gun cut apropos for your cartridge shave. And again, I'm just gonna be eliminating that hair on my neck, doing a neck cleanup. And I'll start off with the big boy, Gillette. Take a look at that. Gillette Fusion Power. So the Gillette model is very light very light, got a nice pivot to it. 
five blades of fun. We've got a big bumper down here and lube strip up top. You also have a precision trimmer on the back. Let's get to cracking. I'm gonna shave upward towards that, that line I've created. And I'm fighting through a little bit of this shaving soap, this shaving lather, or shaving cream. Makes a nice slick. Nice slick application. And that's easy. Easy peasy, guys. Two passes for the price of one. Very nice, smooth. The power on this power razor is, you can hear that, it's a strong vibration. Very, very nice. Okay, let's go over here to the Dorco power. Now this is a little bit different because it has six blades. You've got a pivot here. So the pivots hinge towards the bottom. It's got the precision trimmer. It's got a smaller rubber guard and a lube strip up top. You see, I've used these two before. The precision trimmer on the back. Very nicely designed and heftier, slightly heftier and less vibration. So let's see how this compares. Oh, nice. Right off the tip, I feel like I have more control with this razor. I feel like I have more, um, sort of like a sports car. There's more grip. I feel more in control. I'll do our two passes here. Very nice. And you're hearing the feedback as well. Still feel protected. But I, I, I'm i loving the feel of this, guys. I'm loving the pivot. I'm loving the contact. But similar results, similar feel. We're going to go with one more pass. And I'll do a cross grain pass, which usually separates the men from the boys. I'll add a little bit more water and I'll come back up here and lather once more. We'll do a cross grain just to clean up. And I'm gonna add more water guys, cause that was thick. That was like a thick, thick Greek yogurt which is great for the entire face, but for just doing this, it felt like it was fighting through. Oh, that's nice though. Oh, this is a wonderful, very light, very subtle smelling soap. Ladders up nice and easy and provides a really, really, really sublime protection barrier. And with that cross grain pass, not, Trying to do too much. This cross grain pass is usually my second pass, but today I hit it up on the third. And again, not trying to do too much. I'm letting the device do all the work. And I am letting the contours of my neck dictate where the razor goes. I'm not forcing. You never want to force. You don't want to dig. Maintaining that nice line. So I have the ability to uh, grow or have a foundation for big beard if I wanted to. All right, so now we're going to go with our pace. Come back over here. Again, more control. Much more control with this 
with the pace here. A better feeling of the blades. So if you like to feel the blade, if you're looking for more precision, let's say, closer to a DE experience, well, still being in a cartridge. This door goes similar to a Harry's where you're feeling more of the blades. Look at the difference between the size of the bumper guard, bumper control. That really controls the protection that you're getting. You're gonna have to be a little bit more diligent on this side with the Dorco, but I, I prefer it. Very, very nice. Do the field test, very nice. Searching for BBS. Let's splash off, rinse off, and we'll apply the aftershave or the post-shave recovery. So as you can see, it neatens up the look of that beard. So you're presentable. And this may be the way I rock for a while, guys. So I'll have to incorporate some beard care tips if I decide to go this way. But who knows? I'm having fun with the beard right now. It looks nice and clean. This Singari man, very, very nice. The Explorer. I would highly recommend this. This is a really kind of a wow for me. You know, first time out of the gate with it. Just a very nice soap. Very nice soap. Very slick. Lots to give. So if you were shaving your face, you don't need much, guys. Smells really divine, but very light. So if you're the type that doesn't like a lot of fragrance... And I'll try this recovery splash. Oh, really nice. A little bit more in terms of uh, fragrance on the recovery, which is nice. So a little linger. Ah, very, very smooth, guys. Smooth smelling, just beautiful. Maybe shake it up a little. Oh, yeah. Nice recovery splash. Here we go. Throw a little bit into the beard. Why not? Maybe even throw a little into your hair. What you have left. But there you go, guys. You've got Zingari Man. The Explorer. Very, very nice product. Average guy tested. Average guy approved. We're looking at the two power razors. You take your pick. I'm leaning towards the Dorco. Just a very uh, different feel to it. A little bit more precise than the Fusion. And you don't say that much where Gillette is has been outdone. But Gillette has been outdone today. As always, I love this brush. Pacific Shaving Company's Natural Cork Handle Brush. You got to get over and get it. All right, I know this has been a quick video, but I thank you for watching. And guys, I will see you next time. Remember, I have a couple of auto reviews to drop, and I'm always looking for your feedback. Did you like this video? What do you think? All right, guys, see you next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing. Play. Now roll the music.